said she didn't want to be in the vlog right now. No, I'll be in the vlog, but you just have to be prepared. That would really scary. <laughs> As Avery just said, it is our two year anniversary. Yeah. Probably shouldn't do that while you're driving. Let me just discuss. So we hadn't like made any official plans or bought any flights or anything, but we had kind of planned to go to like probably the Cayman Islands for our two years for like a week or a few days. And then everything happened in April, which is like probably around when we would have ended up buying our tickets. And so no, nothing got planned. And also I don't feel ready to like leave the country right now. And then also just like with life and I don't know, we just like didn't feel like spending like a ton of money to go on like a long trip at the moment. Like there's things you wanna do in the future and like we're going to go see our family soon and we had to buy those tickets and so we wanted to do something fun for to celebrate our anniversary and we thought about the keys or I was gonna surprise Avery but we ended up just doing it together and I was looking at the keys but he was like I wanted like a cute Airbnb and we've never been to the keys and there weren't that many good Airbnbs and I wanted something that was gonna be like easy for us and then I was like oh my god we literally, our love story began up in like the Clearwater area. So why don't we just go to Clearwater? So I got, or we got an Airbnb just for one night. I'm kind of wishing we did too. Me too. But it's okay. One night um, at this really cute Airbnb and we're gonna just like do things that, you plan on going anytime soon, Avery? <laughs> we're just gonna do like, kind of like, a bunch of stuff that we used to do in the beginning of a relationship like go to the beach where I asked her to be my girlfriend and what else we're gonna hopefully be able to go to like blind tiger which is a coffee shop we used to go to literally every morning and we want to go to the river walk and hang out there because that's where Avery confessed her feels for me and we want to go to first watch because that's just like a random memory. We went and saw the sunrise one day and it was like yeah. the most beautiful sunrise ever. And then afterwards so we went to beautiful. First Watch. Yeah. So we want to go to First Watch for and breakfast we're tomorrow. Like soaking wet, eating our breakfast. Mm -hmm. it was awesome. Oh, we want to go to, we have a lot to do in these short two days. We want to go to this place called, what's it called for real? Pat's Peak. No! John's Pass. John's Pass. We had like so many inside jokes. We could never remember the name of this place called John's Pass. I think it's technically in Treasure Island. I'm not sure. But we called it, well, I always wanted to call it Pat's Peak because that's um, <laughs> a, a place in New Hampshire. And that turned into Pat's Puss. And so we call it Pat's Puss. It's called John's Pass. But we want to go there because that's where Avery got that ring that she still wears every day. I used to wear it. But she took it off. <laughs> but I took it off. But they were literally like five cent little like, like shell this rings. This was like 25 cents, I think. Yeah. But it's practically our engagement ring. I'm just kidding. Practically. Uh, and it's lasted two years. But we wanted to like just go to that area. I thought it'd be cute if we got like clear water sweatshirts or something. Just because yeah. like so much of like how we got started involves that area. So. That's where we're headed now. We still have like a three hour drive ahead of us. It's like a three and a half hour drive. And the drive is not fun from South Florida to like <laughs> the Gulf side. Crime <laughs> podcasts, that's fun. Yeah, crime podcasts are fun, but you're just like on a road with zero yeah. bathrooms or restaurants or zero anything. anything. Just grass for like 45 miles. Longer than that. It's like forever. Yeah. It's like two hours of like actually nothing like no exits no cows if you're lucky cows if you're lucky gators if you're extra lucky gators if you're extra lucky but you have yet to be that lucky no you saw a head remember you saw one once that was like near my house with my dad oh i'm challenging myself a lot because i only brought snacks for myself we're gonna go eat at restaurants for breakfast lunch and dinner Dinner twice, breakfast and lunch once. I've I have eaten out at restaurants before, but like normally I when I'm like going somewhere overnight, I bring at least breakfast for me. But I already like I, I'm not like being stupid about it. Like I'm 
I've already kind of planned ahead. Like there's the first watch is super close to the Airbnb. It's like five minutes. So we'll wake up and we'll just go. Cause I wake up with like lowish blood sugars. Like I can't wait too long to not eat. And then um, like I found restaurants where I can find like foods that I'm comfortable with quickly. Yay. So I'm very It's gonna be a great excited. time with um, lots of experimentation and new things. Yes. But that um, probably is lots super of insulin. healthy. Lots yes. of insulin, but that's healthy. Yes, because because yeah, what because was that saying you heard? Perfect blood sugars do not outweigh a happy and balanced life. That's right. Happy and balanced. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. So, yeah. I've been known to be a bit of a perfectionist. So. Yeah, she is a perfectionist, but we're slowly but surely getting there, and that's okay if it takes. What you are you time. doing to my hair? I'm petting it. <laughs> <laughs> Cause this clip is so long, but we were being so funny. We were being so funny earlier. That's all. That's all. Had to be there. Had to be there. I hate big trucks. I want to just vlog some more. How do you feel with all this, like diabetes stuff? Cause I I do get comments sometimes that are like, "How did Avery take it? Like, how do you feel about it?" Um, it's just like I know that she's gonna be okay, and I know she's gonna be good. But, like the process. Like, I'm fine, but like, sort of like your emotions, like, I know you're gonna be okay, but you thinking that you're not gonna be okay makes me sad. Mm -hmm. Just because I know you're gonna be okay, like, you're. You're you crying? No. Oh. <laughs> you just. <laughs> no, like, I know she's gonna be okay, and I know, like, in a year or two, you're gonna be like, this is easy because that's how you are. It's just hard that she's scared, and that makes me like sad and feel bad like obviously I wish she didn't have it but only so that she wasn't scared yeah, yeah. like I, I'm, I'm not like this is so hard on my life because it's not hard at all like I just it's like fun that I get to do more stuff for her yeah and but like it, it doesn't bother me at all the only thing that like makes me sad is when she's sad so mm -hmm. like I, honestly if she's good I'm good yeah I think that's another thing that doesn't get talked about with diabetes that I think it was Mary type one, a uh, type one diabetic creator. I think she posted about it, but like the guilt you feel as a type one diabetic towards like your care. Okay. Caregiver is used lightly. I don't mean caregiver. <laughs> I don't wipe her butt. <laughs> like, what is the word? Like just the, the person only, closest to you. Yeah. The only thing I do for her is provide emotional support and cook. Help me cook meals. meals. Yeah. yeah. Specifically like guilt towards your significant other because you like don't want to feel like a burden and like like I wake up during the night and like I don't know which doesn't bother me at all I know but there's just that's like another thing it's just like the guilt of like ugh, like I, I don't know I'm just someone that like I will be like dying of thirst but I refuse to tell anyone that I'm yes. dying of thirst and she will be like starving on her deathbed I'm, I'm like oh um we can stop and get food she's like no I'm like I know and so it's like really hard for me to like advocate for myself and like be like sorry I don't know or like oh like sorry we can't do this because I'm currently super low blood sugar like you know yeah. it, it, it's but that stuff doesn't bother me because yeah. I understand obviously I'm not gonna be like we're going yeah no I know but yeah but Avery's so sweet and like she even because obviously I thought about like dang like my wedding day what like how is that gonna work and um, Avery was even saying like she'll hold whatever in her pockets and like I'll, I'll get my wedding dress sewn in with pockets. Yeah, <laughs> she's like I'm gonna get a wedding dress with pockets. Why is there a cup? Why is there a cup? Why is there a cup? Oh, that's an ambulance. Phew! Yeah. Guys, Avery cannot get pulled over. <laughs> oh wait, announcement! I decided on what um what insulin pump I'm getting. I'm gonna get the Omnipod. I'm gonna get the newest one. I'm so excited. It's already fly. I already, like, it sh I should get it days? in the next few days. Like, oh. probably early next week, I would assume. Or maybe just next week. Um, And the good thing about that and my Dexcom is both of them can go on my legs. And so, on my wedding day, if I choose to not have them showing, they can literally just go on my literally legs on under my dress. No one will ever see even though everyone that's gonna be at my wedding will very obviously know that I have diabetes and because will not care. Oh my gosh guys, we just got to the Airbnb and it is literally 
so cute. Let me show you. So, this I have to show you the outside after because honestly, like that is one of the cutest parts. But we have this door. That's where you walk in. Little living room. Super cute. Over here is a little mini kitchen. How adorable. So much good lighting. Like, this is just, oh my god, I want to live here. And then you go this way. And here's the bedroom. Super cute. This is actually like a really big closet for like no reason. <laughs> I would put like a desk in there or something. And then over here is a little sitting area. It's funny though, because this room is like slanted. I don't think you can tell. But so cute. And then Avery's in the bathroom right now, but I'll show you in a sec. But oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these floors. And like, I wouldn't have decorated this place like this if it were my home, but like the layout of it is so cute. It's so small, just cute. This is like the perfect vlog setup. I mean, like this is literally so cute. Oh, I want to stay here for more than one night. <laughs> I'm sad. It's our two years! <laughs> okay, we, it's already like four, almost 4.30, and we're gonna go get dinner tonight, but we wanna just go outside, and I'll show you guys the downstairs like yard area. It's so cute, but we got in our bikinis, and now let's go. Okay, show us the way. <laughs> Blue heaven, down the stairs. And look, guys, this whole, I mean, it's shared with like a bunch of like Airbnbs. These are like four units per building, I think. But it's so cute. And there's like a bunch of like just pride things around this neighborhood. It is adorable. Hi. <laughs> hey, girl. I have an idea. After dinner, we should drive around and look at houses. Speaking my language. <laughs> I knew it, guys. This is a ploy. She never wants to dance with me in real life. Yes, I do. <laughs> you want to do this one? Rate your experience so far at this Airbnb. Um, a 10. I don't, there's like no reason for it not to be a 10. It's so cute, but it's so hot and I didn't want to get sweaty because I didn't want to have to shower. But we'll just cool off and I'll re-blow dry my hair for the third time. <laughs> Life hack, when you don't want to um, shower and your hair sweaty, just blow dry it. It'll be good. This place is so cute. I cannot get over it. Okay, we are parking to go into dinner. I, you know when you only bring one outfit choice and you don't want to wear it when you have to wear it. <laughs> That's happened to you both times we're in Tampa. Yeah, but it is what it is. We we're are about to switch go in get, the bathroom. Maybe. We're about to go get some dinner. I and wanna walk over there. Can we walk over there after? Mm -hmm. This is so awesome, I wanna live here. Me too. May or may not have forgotten to vlog dinner. Hey! I feel like there's broccoli all in my teeth. But I was like, <laughs> it's just really hard to just like, be in the moment especially at restaurants because I just like don't know how to dose and I have to like think about everything I put in my mouth because I need to make sure I'm taking the right amount of insulin for it and yada 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 but I thought maybe I had taken too much but now I'm feeling like I either took just enough or not enough so we shall see but I cannot stay in this outfit any longer I feel severely uncomfortable and like I'm a like I'm having imposter syndrome right now so I'm gonna change and then we're gonna head back out and just like explore have some fun also we are kind of dumb and didn't think about how we have things that like need to stay cool I have like an insulin cooler but there's just other supplies that should stay like not boiling hot and tomorrow we're planning on going to the beach. And so we extended our stay at this Airbnb so that <laughs> even if we don't sleep here tomorrow night, we'll at least have a place to keep 
everything, like a home base. We don't have to like lug it in my car to the beach and everything. So we're gonna change and explore, but oh my God, Avery. What? We both match the house. You're so right. So we're actually gonna be going to the place where we just ate so we can walk around. We went back home to change and get into something more cozy. And this is my fit. The top is Abercrombie. The the bikini top, it's like more of just a statement piece. We're not going swimming. Um, and I also didn't really bring bras. Well, I did, but this is just cute. And then, um, did I already say these are from Black Bow? That's from B Black Bow. And then these are BSR. And then the shoes are Burks, backstrap Burks, Obvi, because those are the best. Birkenstocks are the best. I actually just got them here. I saw a pair of Bur Boston's. I just thought about something I could tell them. What? We were sitting in the restaurant and we saw this little girl walk by with an oh. Omnipod on. It was so cute on her too. It was so she cute. She looks like a little doll. She's feeding for water so she can lower her sugars. Right? Yeah. I'm not actually thirsty. It's also literally 1.39 right now. but <laughs> She just doesn't want it to go up. But, but we're gonna go walk around. We're gonna go, literally we're gonna be doing so oh. much like that act, that exercise, I forgot if it's anaerobic or aerobic, but it makes your breath go down a lot. Do we trust these unopened water bottles? Of course. I'm so weird. Why would we not? Because <laughs> I'm like, maybe they poisoned us. <laughs> oh, did you ask about my ring? Well, this is actually from Etsy. It's so cute. And this is actually from here, Clear Water. It's our, <clears throat> it's our love ring. She took hers off. I have this one on, though. Where'd you get that one? I bought it for myself. <laughs> Okay. Hey, girly. Okay, so here is her OOTD. Her, um. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> those are her Adidas, her TNA socks, her beautiful little Dexcom with a cute green skin grip, her shorts, and her new t shirt. Her sus. Just her graduating things. things. On the yeah. water. Check this place out. I'll give you guys a top view. It is just precious. And then there's more over around that corner. Here we are. How do you feel? Oh, look at the little lizard. Oh. I feel good. You feel good? My um, my mind is like so satisfied because I had like thick white bread. Oh yeah. <laughs> are you satisfied? Because I got diagnosed. Yeah. That was super good. Was it? It was super good. Mhm. Mm good. I also tried. What was it called? Palmetto. <laughs> um, polenta. Polenta. Yeah. I tried that and it was really good. The first couple bites I was like. Yeah, me too. I only had a couple bites and I was a little bit sussed out. The more you ate it, it got like good. Are you driving or am I? I'll drive. Still wants to drive. Oh, now I'm at 135. Oh my God, imagine I peak at 139 after all that. That's a big old nut. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'll be crazy. Actually, no, never mind. Say it. I was gonna say maybe I'll be crazy and um, dose again for like ice cream or something, but. You've had enough risks for the day. Well, I just heard that ice cream's hard to dose for because it's spicy like later on. Good morning, guys. Good morning. We're headed to breakfast. We're getting a, well, a late start for me. It's almost 10. Early start for me. <laughs> and we're gonna get some breakfast and then go to the beach all day. We didn't vlog much after what you guys saw because I got sad because I really wanted ice cream and I don't know how to eat it yet. But I was, I've been craving it for like two weeks. I just want it so bad and I just don't know how to go about it. And it made me sad. So we didn't vlog. But maybe tonight we'll try it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But we're going to first watch for breakfast. I think I explained that yesterday. Hey, queen. What are we doing? We are getting ready to go to the beach. Word. We're packing up our snacks. Packing up our snacks. Mm -hmm. And our insulin. Guys, look at this. It's actually so cool. So, the brand is For All Family, right? And there's like a few different ways you can use this, but for the beach, this is how I'm going to use it. So. I take the little thing it comes with, the ice pack. Let me go get my insulin ready, hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna put my insulin, I have three right now because 
this um, I have because this is what I was using before I started using the in pen. So, but um, I only use two of them. And I put them in this just to protect them. And then I put them in here with the little ice pack thing. And what this will do, oh, and then I take this, cover it up, and then you plug it into something. So I have a portable charger. And I forget how many hours, but it's like, I think it's like multiple days that this will stay. So basically this will stay like a perfect temperature while it's like out in the sun and everything. And I don't know if you can hear it, but like this is literally on. Like it's currently refrigerating. And insulin that you've already like started using doesn't have to be refrigerated, but um, it has to stay cool in the sun. So this helps. And then what I do is I just put it all in my bag and then I just zip it up as much as I can without like blocking the lid. So it has perfect airflow. Like that. And it, it'll be good on the beach the whole time we're there. It'll be like colder than it needs to be technically. So that's cool. You can also use it like without the ice pack and just the lid or you can use it with, with just a normal lid and just the ice pack. Wow. Really cool. Yeah. Yee, you guys, we just got here in the memories. Memory. The memories. If you guys have been watching, literally, actually, it'd be since the beginning of my channel because I started it when we lived around here. Yeah. This is the beach we always went to. I'm just so excited. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect day. I cannot wait. And I'm assuming the water's flat because it's always flat. And I really hope it is because we can't really ever swim in the water at home very often because it's so choppy, choppy and, and crazy. Seaweed. So, very excited. Guys, this is the area where Self told you guys on vlog that she was gonna ask. Uh huh. Me. Right. Well, they had actually different picnic tables back then, but right over there. Sure did. Yeah, right there. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> and then we walk down there. It's literally so crazy. And down there is where she asked me. Uh huh. In that video. Uh -huh. Oh, it's so crazy. <laughs> Woo! It is toasty, and. Fun fact, actually guys. Uh, fun fact, really, really fun fact. <laughs> so, before we got to the beach, well you guys saw, we, we got here, we were like telling you all about it. Also the AC's on max, so sorry about the uh, the sound right now. I simply now, cannot turn it down. But I simply cannot turn it down. And then uh, we get out of the car and I'm like, wait, I can't hear the like cooler lid on my insulin thing. And I realized that the portable charger that it was plugged into died. So we had to go all the way back to the Airbnb, grab the other lid that can just like, it keeps it cold just like screwing on, just not as long. But I mean, it's like 48 hours, so we're fine. But um, yeah, we had to go all the way back to get that. And then by that point, it was lunchtime. And so we got lunch and coffee then we came back to the beach and now it's like 3.30 and yeah, we're gonna go to John's Pass now. <laughs> Look how cute my car is, guys. Ah, I love that's it. Hey, girl queen. Hi. We're at the boardwalk or whatever this thing is called, yeah. but it's super cute and we're walking to get... I need a piggyback. Here, oh, it's okay. I'll walk a little bit. This is her second bite of ice cream. She's a little nervous. But that's okay. How does it taste? Besides the nervousness. Really good. We'll update y'all. Hi. Hi. Don't you just want to jump? No, it's too dark. It's <laughs> scary. Did you jump from right to right here? Ah. Uh, I don't know. This water's pretty dark. Maybe if this wasn't the bay. Look how pretty you guys. Sun is setting. <sighs> we're moving here. We thought that we wanted to move here and then we were kind of like, mm, no, we like West Palm. And then after visiting here, we're like, no, actually we want to move back here. Yeah. It's just very us and like such good memories here. How shopping here we come. No, I'm 
not going fast enough for that. To power slide? You guys, it's the next morning and Avery and I are pretty much pulling teeth trying to get ourselves to leave. We do not want to leave. No, don't make us leave. And I just found the best coffee shop. Do not want to leave. But unfortunately, the snacks are running low. We gotta go. But we will be back. We've decided we're moving here. Yeah. Moving back here. Yeah. Just where we belong. Three and a half hour drive. What if we just leave after lunch? Mm. We should go. We should go. We should go. Okay. We should go. <laughs> I wanna. <laughs>